In this video, we are going to be discussing addresses and configurations of the HMIs. We will access this menu by pressing the bottom two buttons simultaneously. Notice the menu now displayed is titled Configuration. This is the specific hardware configuration for this local HMI. We discussed in an earlier video that the Paragon HVAC can have up to five total HMIs. One will always be mounted in the unit with up to four additional ones in the space. The HMI Modbus addresses will be as follows, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59, where 55 is always the unit mounted HMI, with each additional one being a space HMI if configured as such. At a minimum, the unit will always have one unit mounted HMI addressed as 55. If a change is made in the communication section, you will be prompted to save this change as you click menu to back out. The baud rate and parity should be always set to a default of 115-200 and even as default. It is not uncommon for space HMIs to get missed during the installation process, so this should be verified once installation is complete. If a unit is configured to have three HMIs and after applying power to it, it displays an HMI COM3 fault, there is a good chance the space HMI that should be addressed as 57 is either not installed or not addressed accurately. The advanced options and status menu should only be used for in-depth diagnostics by trained technicians. In these menus, you can view real-time temperatures, relative humidities, uptime, and HMI data, as well as assign offsets to those values to further tune that HMI's precise control over space conditions.